Welcome to Shortel 8 System Administration Configuring SIP Phones. In this little video clip, we're going to download and install a X Lite soft phone from counterpath.com. So just go there, download the phone. It's absolutely free of charge. Next thing, next thing you'll need to do is to log into your shoreware director and the first place we're going to want to go is to switches make sure that we have in fact set up some number of available SIP proxy ports so here on our little um, uh, SG50 we have set aside uh, 100 SIP proxy ports uh, to be available for our SIP soft phone and SIP hard phones. Next thing you're going to want to do after you check your switches, go over to call control, get into options, uh, quickly verify that you've got your uh, um, SIP sessions enabled, your session interval should be set to 1800, you can act as the user agent, all of this is goodness. Oh, you'll have to uncheck the box here that says always use port 5004 to RDP. Um, one of the advantages of Shortel was the ability to always have the media stream on port 5004, but if you're going to run SIP, you're going to lose that advantage. SIP's going to pop up on port what, ports RDP, ports all over the place. But so after you do that, here's the real trick jump on down to sites go to the site that you're going to configure and the real trick here is to go down to the SIP proxy and you'll find a thing called virtual IP address that's where you need to go ahead and put in um, the IP address it's a virtual IP address doesn't really do anything but acts as a focal point for your SIP registration. Select the switch that's going to proxy the SIP in the drop down window, and um, that takes care of the configuration of the equipment. Next thing you're going to want to do is uh, get to your user configuration, find your user, and get down here, and you're going to see you're going to see. Uh, and I, uh, a, where is it? There he is, server password. So you go ahead and put in a ser uh, server password. Let me say that again. Wash my mouth this morning, can't do a thing with it. It's SIP password. You go ahead and put the SIP password in there and uh, you're pretty much done. So at that point, you go ahead and uh, bring up your bring up your X Lite telephone which you previously downloaded installed you're going to go into your SIP accounts and uh, set up your properties basically display name username Dr. VoIP the password that you set up for that user in shoreware director portal uh, the extension number and of course that very important virtual IP address uh, the dialing plan by default has been set by the good folks who provided the x -Lite software. So just go ahead and say, okay, you're done. And voila, look at this. We've registered with the Shortel system. We're up and running uh, with an x -Lite phone. And um, let me bring up my Shoreware uh, 8 call manager. And you'll notice over here it says that I am assigned so um, we can go ahead and dial a phone number that will cause the call that will cause down here on the right side my zip phone to um, ring in typical short tail fashion I'll answer it and this will basically cause the zip phone to go ahead and place the call as you can see it here that's pretty much it for Dr. Voip's configuration of SIP soft phones.